Okay, beautiful people, I figured it out for us. Okay, so while I was overseas, I kept seeing these girls with these box braids and these knotless braids, and I was like, I want that. I want some of those. And of course, um, you know, in the lock community, we have a couple of girls whose hair is really long and they can achieve this look on their own, but I can't. I have bra strap length. I have bra strap length or a little longer than bra strap length hair. It's not short, but I want long. I want long box braids. I want swinging. So what I did, I went out and got the Bobby Balls Micro Lock hair. I got the color four because over time my hair lightens some. So the four blends in more with my hair color. Now the texture, this hair is shinier than my lock. So I'm going to. do a hot oil treatment on my hair tonight and I'm going to um, wash my hair. I'm going to wash this color out and let me just show you what one strand looks like if you haven't already looked at this hair. One strand is actually four locks and it's connected like this. So what I did, because of course if you add this whole strand in, it's going to be too bulky. I cut the four into two and um at certain points when i got toward the end i cut the two into ones one individual locks so this is how my braid came out this is the prototype braid get that that exposure back up because it was getting kind of dark this is the prototype braid. Uh, of course, I'm going to try to go and perfect it. And you see how I still have some color right here. So I noticed that with the temporary color, if I were to get a pack like 1B27 mix, it would actually look really good. So I think the next time I try it, I'm going to get color because they didn't have individual color packs. So that's what i'm about to do to my hair y'all y'all stay tuned i'm going to show you guys how it come out okay so i'm going to go ahead and figure out what size what size parts i want i'm going to do one braid see if i like that size and when i decide what size i like i'm going to go ahead and section all my hair off so my parts can already be how i want them to be so can i get a straight line here i have a double headed dragon let me see. That's a good enough line for me. I'm going to see if this is the size I want. My locks in the front are kind of on the small side. So let me go and start. So what I do is I start braiding like a regular braid. I'm going to try not to start it off too tight. Okay. And it looks like it's going to be smaller than what I want. So what I'm going to do is take one of these which i already kind of explained to you was connected like this and i'm going to cut it in half so i cut it into two don't know why i can't make the fuck is i cut it into two so I'm going to take one of the four pieces and go ahead and braid it in to my hair. So I'm going to go ahead back to that. It looks like this, this braid is going to be kind of small. I put the hair on the back side. Try to zoom in a little bit. Okay, that's a lot. So, I put the hair, as you can see it, and I continue to braid regular.
make sure it's not getting too thick and it's not and then this i'm gonna just braid until i start getting towards the bottom because i don't want the consistency to be too too much bigger than the root so i need some more oh. okay so i'm just gonna continue to braid when i get closer to where my hair ends i'll start adding more hair in so let me pause the braid pretty quick Thank you. 